hello hello what's up everybody welcome back all right you guys so let's go ahead and dig into um my jazzy life real quick uh she she listen I already saw this walk, but I'm like, I can't even remember what the fuck it was about. I know she was rambling on and on in the middle of the vlog, but I just can't remember what the fuck she was talking about. <laughs> like, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, she uploaded this, I think, this walk today titled I'm the Problem Standing Ten Toes Down, in which I mean it had nothing to do with the video, to be honest. Like per usual though. Well, let's get started right here. All right, she doesn't want to put her soup in her room because she's scared. This is a soup fairy. So where are you going to sit it at? All right, sit on the table. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so are we doing a, um, hold on. Very mean. I need coffee, it's 6 11. I'm gonna have since 5 50, but I'm gonna have to make me some coffee and make Aiden's extra snack. Okay, Jasmine, did you wash your hands? Is it that hard to have a scooper in there or something? Like, bitch was just touching her face. Ain't no telling what else she was touching, but gonna dig her hands right on in there. Okay. What is it? So, I'm drinking coffee. Consistency and just trying to stay on top of things has been really really hard i don't know why i don't know what it is with me i haven't been able to get on a set schedule and it could have a lot to do with just my life right now um i wanted to go to the gym this morning but i forgot that i have my landlord has a plumber coming out because my water pressure is so low here so that's kind of how my morning's going and i have this bump right here and it hurts so bad Ooh. Ooh. But, wow yes I look at the sizes of that dang on bump she always gets bumps right there though that's weird i'm about to finish getting the kids together it is 6 30 now i gotta just stop making excuses girl i got a whole gym at, at home i'm just gonna get right. some, like i said dumbbells is going to be my thing i treat myself that way i can have i can do a full body workout at home although i like going to the gym it's just some days it's just not going to be convenient for me to go. And it's frustrating. I mean, like today, Ava has gymnastics. I'll be there, but she likes to watch her do her little flips and stuff. So. Okay. Is it still warm in Texas? Dang. I could have sworn you haven't said the other day it was starting to get cold. But then she said her their weather was kind of like flippy floppy, but it's the cold season now. Baby girl still wearing shorts. No, it's not. Don't touch your brother's plums. Okay, Ava. Seems as though they don't have, you know, most schools have, you know, the shorts have to be a certain type of length. Seems like their schools don't have that. The two fairy came. And let's see what she brought you. <gasps> Let me see. Turn around. Hold on. So I guess this is a tooth fairy redo. <laughs> Cause like Jasmine, didn't we already see this? Like you know, then you already you know give um Ava some um dimes and nickels for the tooth from the tooth fairy. So I guess she received a lot of backlash for going in her change drawer just to whip out some dimes and nickels for poor Ava that she went out there and got her some, a gift or something. Or maybe a subscriber had cashed after and was like, listen, get this, get something good for Ava for the, from the Tooth Fairy. Don't even mention it that I got it for you. You just, you know, you say that you got it. Oh my goodness. She bought you. Yeah, toothbrush. You got a toothbrush? <gasps> oh, like fro it. frozen toothbrush. Yeah. What else did she give you? It was got one of those buttons. I know, but the. I know buttons. That's what it is. Oh, what is this? A pin. It's a color. 
a cute pin, but you look at your what baby you doll, your Barbie. She looks like a doctor, tooth fairy. We're gonna say she's a dentist, okay? She's a care doll. So just look. <laughs> You know what? Okay. Hey, then go open the door for Bentley. I forgot about you. All right, Ava wants to put her keychain on her backpack. So that's backwards. It's not backwards, look. Her key Is that chain. another tooth that's trying to fall out or what? She got from the tooth fairy. Hey, it's your eyeball. Can you show Taylor? So we're back at home. Legend is. So, hold up. up. Who the hell was that walking with Ava? Do she be having a hard time going into the school? I hope homegirl's not still fucking crying. Like, girl, you've been going to school for what now? How long? This is your second year. You still crying? Girl, we all the way about to enter in December. Now she need an escort into the school. I have some waffles. I'm making food. And I'm also about to do these dishes real quick. And I'm starting a load of laundry right now. So, yeah. That's ridiculous. Coffee's kicked in. And I need to take my vitamins, honestly, because I don't take my vitamins and they affect me. So, I decided that I'm going to cook spaghetti tonight. Simple, easy. Plus, Ava has gymnastics. Damn, piece of hair. So, spaghetti it is. Hmm. I guess. Okay. So, okay. What the hell? All that butter? Okay, girl. Is the waffle hot? <laughs> that butter was not trying to melt. Not a Vlogmas giveaway, though. What the hell is that? Okay. Content, y'all. And when I tell y'all, like, as a content creator, you gotta be on top of your stuff or it starts to pile up. So I was like, let me hurry up and film my short form content real quick. So that's what I'm about to do. Sitting down, about to get this done because like I said, content, is, all this adds up and holidays, this is the best time to, you know, grow your money. So about to start filming. Okay, did we, did we have to really see that? Was content the whole time on his tablet. I have laundry and they're still going. I'm about to make me a shake, find him something to eat, probably eat some nuggets or something. Actually, I'm about to warm up his waffles because he did not finish them. But I'm probably going to start on a dinner for the kids. Ugh. Not warm up the waffles. They're going to be even more soggier. Like, why you give him two waffles? Give him one. And if he wanted more, he could have got some more. Like, what the hell? It's... Hey, like I said, she has gymnastics, and I kind of don't want to be rushing and stuff like that. I have to meal prep me dinner, so I don't have to worry about me eating. So, shake, let's get it. Okay, speed it up, speed it up. Here we go with this Christmas music. Damn, I mean, shit. Can we get some fall music? Okay, Jasmine, come on. Just eating his waffles and drinking. He was thirsty, he wanted water too. So he's finishing those waffles. And yeah, I'm about to start on dinner for the kids. But let me go ahead and chug that real quick. You eating? Legend. You eating? Good job. All right. Like, what the hell was up with Jasmine? Like, he like, would this retarded lady leave me the fuck alone? What does it look like I'm doing over here? The fuck? I got Ava's stuff. I'm gonna put it in the diaper bag. Got her water and her uniform. Look at Ava. Okay, y'all. So we remember Ava um, when they when her. And Amaya first started to do, no, actually it was Ava's first time doing um, gymnastics. So let's see if Ava has improved because she's been going to gymnastics a lot. So let's see if she's, she's improved. You know what? I'm done with Ava. So apparently not. <laughs> like, 
girl. <laughs> I don't know if she's just lazy or what is the problem. Like she was having a hard time. Like, okay, Ava, you we've been doing this for a while now, lady. You should be able to um do that rollover. Shit, legend, he be glued to that motherfucking tablet. Damn. Like, homeboy, I mean, every fucking time we see him, that he's glued to the tablet. He is he's quiet. I mean, at this point, I mean, Jasmine, since you're not gonna teach him, might as well have something on the tablet teaching him so he can learn something instead of just watching whatever the hell he keeps on watching. Are we trying to be like Nika with the one pound of ground beef? What the fuck is that? The hell? It do, it looks like a little bit of meat. All right, Jasmine, speed it along. But I wanted to talk to y'all. You know, sometimes you gotta literally let me turn to y'all like. I think what I deal with on a regular is just realizing, like, there you know, you, you want to move forward and you want to be like, oh, I'm focused on myself and stuff like that. But in reality, I really wasn't focused on myself. Like, I I feel like in order for me to completely heal inside and out, I have to really prioritize myself. And that's not even just, you know, doing things for myself, but also, like, putting myself first. I put a lot of people before me. And that's like a lot of people. What only one person that we saw that you put before um, yourself was Chris. I mean, that was it. So, who's a lot of people? My biggest turn down. That's like my biggest problem is I put a lot of people's problems and I care so much about everybody and I don't worry about myself because at the same time, I may care about other people and what they be going through, but they don't really be caring about me. And who are these people? She's going to have to tell us. Let us know who. You mean person, not people. I don't know. I just feel like you find out who really is for you when you need them the most. You know what I'm saying? So that's when you find out who really actually supports you, who really is in your corner. And I'm not coming on here to bash anybody, but I just feel like... Jasmine, didn't you... Haven't you... Didn't we already go through this? I mean, you didn't realize this on January 2nd. Oh, you wanted to keep on giving chance after chance, thinking that it was going to change. Okay. I'm just going to step back from everybody. Everybody, you know, because I feel like... How are you going to step back from everybody and everybody already stepped back from you? <laughs> Make it make sense, girl. Like, what? Who? Who? Jasmine? Nobody fucks with you. <laughs> like some people bring me down. And sometimes I just don't need that in my life. And you know, although I have to focus on other things that matters as well when it comes to myself, you know, it's not really going ghost. I'm not going to go on social media because they'll still see me. They just not going to hear from me. Like, I'm just going to be in my own bubble. And that's just everybody, you know. Jasmine, I'm pretty sure none of these people give a damn. You don't do shit. You don't bring anything. You don't, you know, only time people hear from you, like, and not including Chris, but anybody else that is involved in your life, like your mom, your dad, your brother, um, Phil, Hannah, anytime any of those people hear from you is when you need something. All right? You ghosting them, you laying back is actually a relief to them. All right. So I don't know who this message is for. Probably it's probably for Chris. But I mean, girl, he's once again, he's moved on. Maybe you do you need to too. No, like I said, it don't pertain to one person. It's just really standing ten toes down on focusing on me and healing me. I'm not healed from my situation with his dad. I'm not healed from, you know, family situations. I'm just not healed. And that's Girl, hold up. Family situations. What's going on with the family, Jasmine? 
not me coming on here blaming one person or blaming another. I'm blaming myself because I keep trying to put something in place to so that I'm not so upset or I'm not worried about it. But in reality, I need to face it head on, if that makes sense. Um, and I haven't been facing it head on and actually putting the work ethic into myself. And this is when my anxiety starts to kick in, y'all, is I get overwhelmed with everything. Like the kids, you guys, not, and I'm not saying none of y'all are a problem or even the kids, it's just I, I something I'm struggling with. And it's me, it's not y'all, it's not them. And then I get upset with myself because I'm like, oh man, someone messaged me and I need to get back to them and I feel bad. Y'all are y'all probably thinking like, oh, she's purposely ignoring me. No, I actually feel bad. I feel Do you? I feel like, damn, that's one that's one extra person I need to get back to. But first, let me go to my daughter's gymnastics. Let me do this first. Let me help somebody with homework. And um, and then I have to also focus on look, Jasmine, you're not gonna be able to get everything done in one day. And I really be trying to do that. I wanna work out. Do you? I need to find the balance when I want to go to the gym. Although the gym is the I like to go to is far, but I might need to literally think about that. Hey, you have a gym down the street. That's the same, you know what I'm saying? That's closer and it's the same, you get the same benefit. And just put in that foot forward and just moving forward. And even like with Legend and the child care, I just got his shot records, I just got his birth certificate. I'm just gonna do move how I wanna move. I'm not gonna be trying to move a certain way because I don't wanna hurt a family member hurt a child's father, either either father, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, I'm not trying to bash either one of them. I'm not trying to bash your family. I just feel like I need to take this time for me, you know? Why would your family members care how you move, Jasmine? I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to understand that. Like you putting legend in childcare, how would that affect your family members? I'm pr they don't they don't give a damn Jasmine. They're not trying to watch him. Nobody's racing to watch Legend while you go do whatever the fuck you gotta go do. The fuck, if anything, people want you to put his ass in fucking childcare so you won't be fucking trying to call them up and asking if they could babysit him. Like, come on, girl. We already know Chris don't give a damn girl. But what? He haven't seen the boy since he left last year. Girl, go on. Move. I mean, what? Like, she's she's just rambling on and on. Say what the fuck you got to say. Stop trying to scoot around it, maneuver around it. Just say it because, bitch, we're zoning the fuck out. I'm 33 years old, and I have not actually took the time for me. I've always put everyone's needs, um, everyone's feelings before mine. Like, I don't you mean and when it comes to me and my anxiety, no one understands. They're like, how are you getting, how are you having anxiety? It's just every one thing. It's not that I'm just getting anxiety, just like, it's stuff that builds up on top. Like a lot of y'all got confused and y'all thought like, I was upset because me and Philip got into it. That was just one thing building up. Like I said, my anxiety is triggered by multiple things. My basketball game, Kim's dance. Legends birthday, all that was just building on top, making sure that my kids is getting up or getting to school on time, meaning I got to get up at five o'clock, meaning I want to go to the gym. My mind be want going and I need to learn how to calm down. You know, I'm going to start trying to look for, you know, safe remedies at home as far as like stress relieving tea and stuff like that. Because I just I need to work on stuff and then doing things for myself. That's why I'm trying to get him in child care. That's another thing. Like, even if it's during the day, I go somewhere and get like a spa treatment, something, you know, gym really helps with my anxiety. And I haven't been in two weeks. I've gained weight. And that's another thing. I've gained weight, y'all. Because what comes with my anxiety, what comes with my stress is stress eating. And when I tell y'all I've been eating and I need to learn to control that. Like I said, it's a healing I got to do within myself. It has nothing to do with nobody. I'm really trying to work on that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm like, taking a look, taking a step back, seeing where I'm messed up, that type of stuff. And I'm gonna heal within myself, whether it's doing it alone as a single mom, but I, and I keep saying like, I wanna be in a relationship, I want this and that. But girl, how can you be in a relationship? See, this is her thing. Here we go, we keep on bringing up relationships, we keep on bringing up men, we keep on bringing up penis. 
I mean, girl, what the fuck? So this is what it all boils down to yet again, Jasmine. It's always involving some dude, some man that you want to be up under, some ball sack that you want in your mouth. It all is always revolving around some fucking man. You wanting to be in a relationship. You wanting to feel love. You want you cr- you're craving male attention. You're in heat. I mean. Oh my God. I, I don't understand how you expect to want to heal yourself or want to try to, you know, better be happy within yourself when you're always f- focused on having somebody's penis in your mouth. When you're not properly like taking care of yourself. I, what's wrong with your hands? I gotta come through and take care of myself before I take care of any not take care of but like before I bring anyone into my Oh no, you said it right. <laughs> Uh-uh, oh, so now she wants to think about the kids. Now she wants to put relationships on the back burner because she wants to think about the kids. Okay, Jasmine. There could be somebody out there that go through what I go through. Like they don't know who to talk to and sometimes that's me right now and so i'm really working on that i'm working on myself trying to get my mind t- together like i said if i gotta just go ghost for a while i'm gonna go ghost um they'll catch me on jasmine nobody cares nobody why does she keep on mentioning that she's gonna go ghost if people people who actually do go ghost they actually do it they don't give no warnings they don't let everybody know hey everybody psa i'm i'm out i'm about to go ghost for a minute so i I catch y'all when i come back no they just disappear the fuck there is no pre-warning no bye i mean what bitch the fuck? I mean, what you want somebody to hit you up? Be like, oh, Jasmine, what's wrong? Oh, Jasmine. Like, what? That's what she's looking for. She's looking for the phone calls. She's looking for the texts, the emails, or whatnot uh, from people who trying to, you know, no. You're not going to get that, Jasmine. Nobody cares. On social media, I'm going to, like I said, bring my gym stuff back into it, because that also played like a major role with things. And I'm considering doing my weight loss shots again, um, only to help me get back into the motivation of wanting to go to the gym. <laughs> as far as like the, the shots, you know, because the B12 helps a lot. And then of course the lipo. And my goal was to get to 180 and I gained an extra 10 pounds. So I just got to get my weight back down to where it is. And I probably feel a lot more comfortable. I'm not even comfortable in my own skin. I've been eating bad. I've been drinking bad. Hence, when my face has been breaking out, people think it's just oh, maybe it's no. It's stress. It's stress. It's bad eating habits. Stop, stop drinking. It's everything. Jasmine, your face been breaking out. I mean, what? And water started back drinking soda. Stuff that comforted me. Food comforts me. I always turn to it, and now I got to figure out what to balance that. And if you guys are new here, before I got with Legends Dad, I was on depression and anxiety medication. And my doctor did tell me that, that was like my, when I got with him, I still had it, but I had a trigger. Something drastically changed in my life to trigger like a happy anxiety. Like I was happy. I was full of life. Oh. So here we are yet again. So um, like I said, a man makes Jasmine happy. She, she just plainly told us before she was with um Chris, she was on depression and anxiety medication. When she got with Chris, she says her doctor told her that um sh- um she's been feeling a happy anxiety. She's been happier. She's been full of life. So basically, a man makes you happy, Jasmine. And without a man, you're depressing with and with anxiety. And while you're with the man, it just cures your depression and anxiety. Jasmine, so, oh my God. If this girl, tell us that you're a big piece of shit without telling us, Jasmine. I mean, damn. The fuck? No man is going to want to stick around you, Jasmine. Like I said before, you can't, you can't 
you can't depend on everybody else to make you happy. You cannot depend on a man to make you happy. You have to be happy within yourself first. Once you're happy with being alone and being by yourself, that's when you should be getting into a relationship. Until then, you don't need to be in no fucking relationship. And, you know, right now, I'm kind of just going through a motion of, like, not really being a blue light. And, you know, even after we broke up, I was still like that. But I'm still kind of like that right now. But I'm just sharing with you guys, you know, what's up and how my life is and what I'm dealing with on the inside, and I'm just trying to take it a day at a time, okay? So, if you see me, and you see that I don't respond back to your emails or text messages, please don't take it personal. Because when you take it personal, you're triggering me. You're triggering me. Jasmine, just tell that one person who keeps on emailing you to stop. Damn. Who else is nobody? The fuck, bitch? You don't got no friends. Nobody's hitting you up except for your, what, one or two subscribers. Stop it. So please don't take it personal. I'm doing my best to get back to you. Like I said, it's certain things that I'm going through that I need to take care of and focus on myself. And sometimes it just comes with this, like me just taking a step back and being just about me. So I'm going to finish cooking dinner. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here because it's kind of just all over the place. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the vulnerability of me coming on and talking to y'all. Sorry, it's kind of just like I say, all over the place, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all. Okay, whatever. All right, y'all. So, one thing I wanted to go ahead and talk about was is Jasmine going to end up being another, like another Nika with the um reused content? Yeah. Um, now one thing, let me go ahead and share my screen because Jasmine, see, I don't know if it's, if it's considered as reuse. Well, actually it could be because y'all, y'all know when Jasmine goes live, right? When she goes live, she, um, she has the computer or she has the two phones on. One phone is for my jazzy life and the other one is on my jazz up life. And she's shooting the same thing herself while going live on two channels. So I don't know. Well, actually, wouldn't that be the same thing as reused content, even though it's different angles that she's showing? Because it's the damn the same fucking video. Say, saying the same thing for Batum. So, I mean, you know, she's getting paid for the exact same video on both channels. And then now I could have sworn I we seen this video on my Jazzy Life. I could have sworn we seen this video. And not get up. Like, I... And one, I was up editing last night. I can hear Bentley now, so I'm happy with that. I was up editing really, really late, and then I didn't drink coffee or anything, but I just edit my video. I pushed through, and then took me a bath, finished my last load of laundry, and then after that, I was just like, all right, Jasmine, lay down. Put your phone down. I put my phone down. I still couldn't go to sleep, y'all. Still struggled to go to bed, and I probably didn't close my eyes till like two, three okay, something. And I felt like it was because I'm really excited about getting back into the gym but at the same time like i get so overwhelmed with things um i haven't even checked my messages like i turn my phone on silent because sometimes it triggered by anxiety and my phone just be going off like my group chat for my basketball team so, so this is a video where jasmine kept on she she learned the new word which was triggered all right she used trigger like a thousand times in this one video she uploaded this same video on my jazzy life where you know she goes to the store she talks about um kaylin needed needing a binder and organization or whatever the fuck um and then she also picks up a planner from um the store or whatnot she takes us with the, her and stuff it's the same thing does jasmine not know this hmm Y'all, we about to be seeing another video with her going off, talking about, you know, people done did this, people done did that, when it's 
she's reusing content she's about to end up getting a strike just like nika and youtube is going to shut down both of these um videos to where she's going to be demonetized for three months <sighs> what an idiot what an idiot Y'all get ready for Jasmine to come on here and start fucking whining. But actually, it took them a while to catch on to Nika doing it because Nika was doing it for like months. And Jasmine just now started to do it. So maybe, um, you know, by the time they catch on, she probably would have already stopped. But I don't know. All right, you guys. So that's that one, Jasmine. Go ahead and like this video, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe. I will catch you guys later. Peace.